So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again. We are going to talk about Harold Kane, Harry, Sir Harry, King Harry, King Kane, England's all-time top goal scorer, Tottenham's all-time top goal scorer, and this has led to a total of zero trophies. But now, the talk of the town, <laughs> the talk of the town is that Bayern München have tabled a 70 million pound offer. This has been swiftly rejected by Daniel Levy. Uh, we're going to get into this. Make sure you are smashing the like button up, people. Make sure you are subscribed. We are teetering on the brink of 16,000 subscribers. So let's get that done. Uh, we are literally just over 100 away. So come on, let's get that done real quick. Get your comments in. Get your super chats in. Share the content. Check out the video about Declan Rice on the main channel. Uh, but we have seen so much waffle from these journalists. Uh, I just want to read some of these out. Um, June the 1st, 2023. Harry Kane has rejected by an interest. That's from Bild in Germany. Tottenham Hotspurs, Harry Kane likes Bayern Munich. That was on the 22nd of September last year. And that has come from... Um, an exclusive interview with Sky's Florian Plettenberg. 27th of July, 2022. Bayern Munich made sure Harry Kane knows he's wanted. <laughs> Who makes this stuff up? Uh, where are we? What else we got here? Harry Kane has, I said, sorry, let me read that again. Harry Kane has an eye on Bayern Munich move. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. The contrast from one journalist to another, from one news outlet to another, 70 million on the table from Bayern Munich. Rejected, rejected, real quick, uh, real quick. And listen, he has only got one year left on his contract. Uh, but having said that, if Mason Mount is going for about 60 million quid with one year left on his contract, then Harry Kane is worth 100 million quid. So pay the money, Bayern, if you want the player. Pretty damn simple, isn't it? Uh, Harry Kane will guarantee goals. Uh, Bayern Munich will guarantee him trophies. Um, so it's kind of a match made in heaven. He wants trophies. I'd imagine he wants trophies, although saying that, uh, he has been a serial loser for most of his life. Um, all great, scoring loads of goals. But ultimately, if they don't lead to anything, you've lost. Put your medals on the table, granddad. Oh, well, I didn't win any. But I am England's top goal scorer. Um, I am the Premier League's top goal scorer. Well, we will be. Um, and I am Tottenham's top goal scorer. Yeah, but Grandad, did you win any medals and trophies? No, I didn't win any of that, but that don't matter. That don't matter. I'm top goals. Is that what he really wants? Uh, listen, there's no doubt in his ability. He's a fantastic footballer. N not just a great goal scorer. He is an unbelievable footballer as well. But... He has literally wasted most of his career at a club that ain't serious about winning anything. And they've conned him in to thinking that he's great and he could be the legend. You could have a statue. Even Daniel Levy was talking about statues a couple of weeks back. Like, it's mad. A statue for what? Is there any other legend of a football club that didn't win anything that has got a statue? I can't think of one. Maybe you can help me out in the chat. Is there another footballer on the planet with a statue outside a football stadium as a legend of that club without winning a trophy? Uh, but last um, last night, obviously, Declan Rice bid was submitted. Again, he's got one year left on his contract and they won 100 million. So Bayern Munich coming in with 70 million, it's actually euros plus add-ons. They were never going to get that accepted. They, David Ornstein broke that news a few hours ago, exclusive. Bayern Munich have submitted an official proposal. And again, proposal and bid. What is the difference between a proposal and a bid? Because when Arsenal go in for a player, he tweets out bid. When, I, when Man City go in for a player or Tottenham go in for a player, it's a proposal. Why is it a different word used for different clubs? Makes no sense. Anyway, um, Bayern Munich written offer for the Tottenham 29-year-old striker was worth 70 million euros plus add-ons. England captain has one year left of existing Spurs contract. Um, he then comes out and says it was swiftly rejected. Um, and I'm not surprised it was swiftly rejected. 
Yeah, at the end of the day, he is worth well over 70 million euros plus add-ons in today's market. Somebody just commented on my Declan Rice video before I press record on this, saying, Declan Rice, I don't know why everyone wants Declan Rice. He's overrated and overpriced. My reply back to that was, 99% of footballers are overrated and overpriced because most of them are crap. Literally, most of these footballers that we watch week in, week out in the Premier League are rubbish. Let's just be real with it. They're rubbish. Half of them ain't got any technical ability. Half of them ain't got any um, skill. They're just robots in a system. Football is not what it used to be back in the day, back in the 90s, back in the early noughties. Yeah, it's all about systems and all of this crap. Oh, yeah, but he's a good system player. Yeah, but is he a good footballer? Well, in this case, Harry Kane is one of the exceptions to the rule. Because Harry Kane is a very, very good footballer. Yeah? Yes, he turns like a dump truck. Yeah, Yes, he looks clumsy on the ball at times. But I'll tell you what, his footballing IQ is up there with the very best in the game right now. He is an unbelievably talented footballer. He's an elite-level goal scorer, and he is rotting away at Tottenham. Yeah, maybe he wants to stay at Tottenham. I don't know. He hasn't signed another new contract, but at the same time, I remember when Poch was there, him and Deli Ali were signing new contracts every six months. For what? He didn't win anything. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. I don't see him leaving because I think I think he's actually got his eyes set on being Premier League all-time top goal scorer. And whilst that's great, and it's a great achievement to be the top goal scorer ever in the Premier League. If you don't win anything at the end of it, thank you. If you don't win anything at the end of it, then it's all been irrelevant. You would have scored 260 odd goals that led to not winning anything. So if, if I'm Harry Kane's agent right now, I'm saying to him, force your move, mate. Yeah, we see last summer, he, he went on strike, he refused to come to train and all that. If he really, really wanted to leave Tottenham, and I mean really wanted to leave Tottenham. When Daniel Levy is saying, well, we're going to find you wages. Well, you're not finding that out of what you've already paid me, are you, mate? You're finding me out of money that I haven't earned yet. It's, it's due. It's due in a month. It's due in a week. It's due in two weeks. Well, it's not money that you've already paid me and said, we need that money back. So if Harry Kane really wanted to leave Tottenham last summer, he would have said, bollocks, I ain't coming back. Make me. Make me. I'll just sit at home, chill with the kids. Get the wife pregnant again for the ninth time. He's actually got more kids than trophies. That's kind of bad, isn't it? That is actually mad. But if he really wanted to get out of Tottenham, he could have forced his way out of Tottenham last summer. Is he going to go down that route again this summer? Probably not. Probably not. Will he leave next summer? Maybe. I don't know. He's out of contract next summer. Will Tottenham convince him to stay? It depends. I don't think he will go abroad if he does leave. Because like I said, he wants that Premier League all-time top goal scorer record. Yeah, and he ain't doing that in Germany, is he? But he will guarantee himself trophies. He will guarantee himself Champions League push. Yeah, they get to the latter stages most of the time. This time around, Man City battered him. But he will guarantee himself a league title. He'll guarantee himself a couple of cups domestically. And he will have a chance to win the Champions League. Why are you staying at Tottenham, mate? Why? He had the chance to go Man City. They ended up with Erling Haaland. Would Harry Kane have scored 50-odd goals this season for Man City? Debatable. Debatable. Let me know in the comments. Do you think he would? Um, I certainly think he would have bagged over 40. Whether he would have hit 53 or 52 or whatever it was that Haaland scored, I'm not so sure. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, Man City still would have won the treble with Harry Kane, in my opinion. I genuinely believe that. Yeah, because he is a quality footballer. Yeah, and if you take Haaland out and put him in, yes, they would have had a few less goals, but he would in terms of striker, but he would have set up a few more goals. It probably would have balanced out about the same anyway. And I still think Man City would have won the league. I still think they would have won the cup. They probably would have won the Champions League as well because they were just that good last season. Yeah, Haaland's a massive part of that. But Harry Kane is a better footballer by a country mile than, than Erling Haaland will ever be. Erling Haaland is up there in the elite goal-scoring stats Yeah, with Harry Kane and above Harry Kane. But at the same time, footballing-wise, he's an unbelievable footballer. They're unbelievable footballers. His link play, his hold-up play, his intelligence, the way he draws fouls, yeah, the way he can score different types of goals. He always hits them into the side of the goal. Yeah, give him a penalty, apart from for England. Most of the time, it's in the back of the net. He's just a top-draw footballer. So I get it. Bayern Munich won him. Cough up over 100 million. It's as simple as that. To get Harry Kane for 100 million, 
I still think in today's market, that is actually a bargain. When you look at some of the players that have gone for 100 million, Anthony at United. Yeah, like, you know, Declan Rice is going for 100 million. You know, Jude Bellingham's just gone for 100 million. You know, there's a lot of players out there, 100 million plus. Jack Grealish, 100 million. I like Grealish as well. But at the end of the day, Harry Kane is a better footballer than all of these players. So if they want him, they're going to have to cough up the money. And then will Daniel Levy sell him? That's the big issue, isn't it? Um, for me, yeah, he needs to get out of there. Yeah, and another thing as well, like, I look here and I just think, Daniel Levy, people talk about how shrewd a businessman he is. Really? Have you seen the state of that football club? What are you waffling? Yeah, not only that. Yeah, not only that. I think, like, you know, they've got to go away from Kane and Son now. They have to get, they have to break this cycle that has led to winning absolutely nothing. Get Kane sold, get Son sold, get the money in, release the shackles of give the ball to Kane. I've got to give the ball to Kane. I've got to give the ball to Son. Get rid of that. We had that at Arsenal with Henri, yeah, when we had Fabregas and all that lot, you know, and then Henri went to Barca. Next season, we were in a title race. The following season, we were in a Champions League semi final. You no, know, this look at Napoli. Napoli got rid of um, Insigne. They got rid of uh, Koulibaly. They got rid of one else. Who was the other one they got rid of? Can't remember. They got rid of someone else. All of a sudden, they win the league title. It can happen. I'm not saying Tottenham are going to win a league title because they won't. Yeah, but if they get rid of Kane and Son, all of a sudden they've got another 150, 160 million, 170 million to play with. Add that to what they're going to give to Ange anyway. All of a sudden you can do two, 250, 300 million. You've now built a squad. Yeah, it really ain't difficult. But Daniel Levy is, um, I don't know, he just is a, he's a good businessman. Yeah, outside of football. He ain't got a Scooby what he's doing inside football. Yeah, and then you've got to look at Kane himself. Does he really want to go and win trophies? Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave it all in the comments section. Will Bayern come back in with another bid? It'll be interesting to see. Um, they could go and get Lukaku for less than that. <laughs> and Lukaku would fully stat pad it up in Germany as well. But there we go. It is what it is. Uh, leave your comments down below. Leave your super chats down below. Fire the like button up. Sub to the channel. Let's get this well over 16K. Come on, people. Big up the 5,000 new subs this month already. 53 K new subs this month. So come on, let's keep going. And um, go and check out the video about Declan Rice on the other channel. Uh, anyone else bored of that? Uh, so go and check it out if you're not. And um, I'll be back again tomorrow with another upload. Um, I'm enjoying doing this channel as well because I'm more chill on this channel. As soon as I speak about Arsenal, I get angry. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of my day. I am live with Terry Flewers at half past three. Uh, so between now and then, I'm going to go and relax by the swimming pool. Have a blessed day. Adios, amigos. Ciao.